welcome to this Ooh. match with Remu. This is in the second round of the Shuffle IT tournament. Um, and it is the round of 128, which means, uh, I guess the sum of our seeds adds to 129. Assuming no upsets, neither of us upset our opponents, so, uh, our mu is seed something like 118, I think. Um, oh, spec chat is not off. It is. Uh... Um, I will fix that for the second second half. Okay, let's look at this board. Uh, it's Urchin, Governor. You're going to go crazy on Governors, and you're going to Urchin for... Oh, you can also guide. Well, okay, that doesn't really help too much. Again, the Governor will draw up a bunch, and then the Urchin will, um, will be pretty brutal. Uh, develop is not trashing. Um... Because, uh, yeah. Um, so I think we just go double urchin. Because that's pretty standard. Um, and, uh, you know, hands of three, it's hard to get to governor. Um, let's see, there's not, there's not plus, well, there's skulk, there's, but there's no village. Um. I guess you could, like, develop Skulk. I don't know. You have one terminal. I think it's going to be... Well... <clears throat> we'll just trash down with Mercenary, ideally. And... Get there. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that's that's my mistake, not turning Spectre off. Okay, my opponent gets Quarry Urchin, which is not bad. Um, I just... I want to prioritize the Urchin Collision. Um, that's easy. <clears throat> we have this verbose log. Um, he gets a governor out of the quarry. Alright, that did not, uh, did not work out, so I will get a third urchin. Yeah. All right, Skulk. So my opponent is, and yeah, I'll get the quarry now. Oh, there's Necropolis for village. I'll keep it around then. It's nice that my opponent did not hit five. Discard Hovel, so that didn't really change anything. You could have gotten Hubble Castle. Nah, that's not worth it. Um, yeah, so what does this turn into? It's just a typical Governor game. It's Governor Discard Attack game. I... <laughs> Temple. Temple is not the way I would trash here. So... All right, I collide my urchins. I get a governor. This is this is going well. Yeah, so I think I'm going to play this pretty straight. I guess I could see myself getting skulk and playing uh, skulk and mercenary as my terminals eventually. Yes, I will trash. And let's get Governor. All right, well, people are joining here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Slime Time. Sorry about that. Um, oh, wow, I guess the other <laughs> match finished up. Let's see what my opponent does with the governor. Draws cards. And, um, okay. 
Gets another governor. Uh, okay. I think I'll just get a... I could just get a guide at this point. I could get second quarry. Let's just get guide. Peter making all these noises. <laughs> All right, let's draw and then discard. Make, make them discard. They do not have a mercenary yet. They could get it with the skulk, but anyway, um, I'm just gonna get more governors. <coughs> okay. That's good, I get the necropolis down before. Mercenary. <coughs> they are trashing and getting governors, that's uh that's the right way to do it. But um I mean I guess I can Uh, let's do governor draw cards. Yeah, these governor urgent, I don't know, it's gonna be a lot of decisions. I think I'm good. Don't have the quarry. That's unfortunate. Um, let's just gain gold by governor. Alright, he's got that urchin, but that's the end. Picks up another governor. Alright, so let's governor draw. Governor draw. <coughs> urchin. Man, I'd love to be able to get both of those. But no. Um, okay. So let's just get another governor. <sighs> Envious. Okay, that does something. Um, okay, but they didn't take, um, Okay, let's just trash and gain an urchin for governor. And then let's mercenary trash those things. And take a skulk. <coughs> I feel like I might have lost the governor's book. Maybe not. Uh, I will trash copper. <laughs> I take a second urchin. Um, I'll save the guide for when I don't have like a governor can. Ah, man, I need to draw these this urchin business. 
All right, urchin is drawn. Let's just draw up and then trash more coppers. Okay, so I could just double province and probably do somewhat similar next turn. Okay, um, obviously that's what I'm doing. He's got two provinces, buying a skulk. All right, let's draw. Um, so how do I come back from this? Uh, I could get castles now. Um, If I do province to gold, I'm sorry, gold to province and skulk, then I would have be able to get the humble and the. Yeah, let's do. Let's hope he can't triple. Overground first state. He's diluted, which makes it kind of safe to take humble and crumbling because then he can't take the next one. And that can be another governor target for me. Okay, so how many governors do I actually have? One, two, three, four, maybe five? Four or five, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Uh, what do I get skulked? Oh, nope, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's nice. He gets a duchy. So I'm winning now. I'm not calling guide on this. Um. Is there a way through? Uh, let's just search in him first. Oh, I drew province. <coughs> I guess I don't really need that quarry anymore. So let's just do that. I drew the crumbling. Oh, that's nice. Discards two. Um, okay, so I will get small. I can't get haunted. That's annoying. Um, 
I'll get another skulk. If I do small the haunted, it doesn't do anything to him right now. Oh, it's not even my turn. Um, <laughs> takes a duchy. Interesting. I'm calling the guide. Okay, I'm drawing up. I want to hit double province. I have governor for gold to province, and then I can mercenary. Yeah, there we go. All right, mercenary. <coughs> Trash those skulks. Drew silver anyway. I guess I could have played the urchin first. And let's buy promise. All right. <sighs> so I survived that one. <laughs> um. Okay, so I have to edit the table. Um, let's make sure we're recording appropriately. So I won the first one, and I was not the first player. So let's... Uh... Okay, players cannot see spec chat, and player order will be me first. Okay. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Speak chat off. And... Alright, let's take a look at this kingdom. So, Courtier has the Tormentor. It's a target. Um, no draw. Oh, there's imps. Imps are the only draw. Um, fountain. Well, okay, there's no trashing either. Except for trashing gladiators, trashing like, noble <coughs> brigands, and bandits, and farmers market trashing itself. But okay, trade route. No, trade route's trashing. That's what I should be saying. Okay, and that's alms. So trade route's actually not too terrible. Oh, but I have two five. Oh, it, oh that's even better with alms, right? Um, I can alms for, uh, let's see, do I want to trash the, the trade route? Is that actually what I want? Um, I will alms, I will certainly alms. The question is, yeah, I think I will take the trade route. And I'll take the tormentor here and hope to get in for two. Maybe I could have taken silver, just to make that, well, I'll still play the tormentor over trade route if they collide. So yeah, imps are very nice, especially with ports, and uh, I guess imp is also two types for the port here, but really the tormentor is going to be our target. <coughs> My opponent is playing treasures, which, I mean, you don't really want to buy the fours. You really, I mean, you don't want to alms the fours. They're both on buy effects. When you buy this, gain another port, and also when you buy or play this. So I guess there's not really an advantage to alms in when you have three, four. Obviously it's good for my two, five. So I feel kind of lucky about the start. Um, see how it goes. But yeah, my plan is to just do a bunch of imps and ports and tormenting and eventually get into the courtiers and also trash with the trade route. 
I will not be going for fountain points. Um, also takes the trade route. I'm lucky. Okay, so trade route will trash the state, and then I will. I mean, I don't want to alms report again. I could uh, just get a silver. I think I'll just get a silver. Because I want to pick up, like, ports and markets. Um, yeah, let's do a silver. Alright, nice. I get to torment. Yeah, so the port open, I don't really see doing much. Um, Farmer's Market, I also don't see any. Cordier is going to be far better once you're drawing. Um, so the problem with ports is I'll be like not getting too many more imps. So I think this is actually a case to alms for silver again. And I guess here I'll get ports. Yeah. And this imp will either find the Tormentor or the Trade Route. Hopefully. Hopefully they aren't both bottom decked. So, so far I have the only draw card. The single imp. Still arms and almsing for farmers markets. Oh, I don't draw either. Wow. Both my tormentor and trade drop bottom decked. Okay, well I'll get a market. I think that's best. Oh, okay, I get my port. So I do get to play both. No imp, but that's okay. And I get to do as much as I will be able to in this turn. All right, let's uh, torment first. Greed. Ooh, that could uh, get him somewhat close to fountain, I guess. Um, but let's get. Man, he's got a lot of ports. I guess I'll, I'll hop in on the ports before they're gone. And I guess I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering when I should disrupt these farmers markets. So, the imp has two types, port has one type, all these treasures have one type, tormentor has three types, and yeah, and gladiator fortune could be nice. But anyway, he finally gets the tormentor. I want a second tormentor at this point, but I just want to get the ports, let's just get the ports. Market was bottom decked, alas. Not that I'm doing too much with the market. It's just generally good card. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Trashes his last estate. Gets a good farmer's market. Takes a regular market. Alright, Tormentor, Bad Omens. That's a decent hex. And I have... Uh, I can do like alms for two farmers markets, um, or I can just get a regular market. 
I can just get a coach here. Um, let's disrupt these farmers markets. Yeah, so those bad, bad, bad omens hurt those two ports, just true hoppers. Or so did my ports, but, you know, get what we can. Okay, uh, port your time. All my ports. Well, not all of them. I think I got six. He gets an imp. Wow. Thought it might be a little late for that. So, uh, I guess we're doing the fountain points, so I should be keeping track of my copper trashing. I've trashed one copper. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, that's way too many ports. But I get a, I steal a good farmer's market off him. And... I think I'll just get, like... I could get, like, three more farmer's markets or something. Um, or two regular markets. Let's just get three more farmers markets. <coughs> so I'm four coppers short of the fountain. All right. Let's torment diluted. Six. Um, so if I drain the farmers markets, what does that do for me? Not a ton. <laughs> I mean, they're nice payload when you have plenty of actions like ports. I guess I'll drain them. Well, that's not the greatest, but hey, this is multiple types, so I can at least get the coins or the gold. Coins would be nicer. Unless he plays a farmer's market here. Okay. He gets the points. Trash is copper. Oh, he got a second trade route. Interesting. Yeah, this board is kind of weird. Farmer's Marker being two types is a salvation for this courtier, but it just makes the courtier into a gold. Not too exciting. Maybe I should have just gone gladiator. I don't know. Alms is for silver. Action coins. Action gold. Uh, action coins are big buying gold. Action gold. Um. Sure, let's get a gladiator. A lot of terminals. I feel like we have like very similar decks. This is better though. <coughs> Maybe. I've been hexing him for a little longer. Buys an estate. Interesting. So he thinks that the estates are going to go. So this is like two really big farmer's markets. But then I'm giving him the points again. But let's take at least one. And let's take the second.
Oh, the estate does power up the trade out. Hmm. I'll just take province. Long markets in the war. What do I lose? A port. Ah, okay. Only have five now. So he's definitely not going for fountain points. That's definitely intriguing. Okay, so let's get a bunch of these farmers markets played. And trade route is now decent payload. I'll also just get gold. Feels weird buying gold when of course you're bored, but uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let's just get another courtier. I'll get coppers on this shuffle, I think. Oh, they didn't miss the shuffle. That's annoying. <laughs> All right, so I think... Whoa, really going hard on the estates. Um, okay, so how many coppers? <coughs> I trashed the first copper, trash the rest. So I have six coppers, so I need four buys. I'm not going to get there this turn. Um, however, I can trash silver and pick up two coppers in a province. And I have to hope he can't get three states. That's a bit scary. Um, I could get a th three estates and lose. But I will trash the silver. I will do what seems best. <coughs> ah, man. He probably gets it this turn, doesn't he? I didn't prepare, I should have got coppers earlier. I had so many buys. He's pausing. Yeah, he hasn't. Okay. Well, that's not the greatest play for me. <laughs> yep. I don't know how to play money. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. So we're definitely going to have a game five. And uh, I need to switch up the player order. All right. Um, yeah, I should have grabbed the coppers. I found the points. That was dumb. That's very dumb. Oh, well, one to one. Each one is second player. So, uh, City Court of Goons. How about that? Um, Hunting Grounds, Coin of the Realm is nice too for draw. Um, Um, so how do we get there? That's the big question. Uh, we want to get trading posts. 
Um, and we want to get treasures. Like, I feel like Navigator's decent here. Or, sorry, Actions, because we want to... Um, so is it Navigator... Silver? Navigator Coin? Well, let's get Navigator and see from there. I can see it being silver. Everything is expensive, but you can get silver from trading post. Harbinger could be nice. Um, yeah, so the goal here is going to be that you're going to start your turn with um, hunting grounds and then to try and get into a city quarter. Um, probably going to have tons of goons attack on us. <laughs> I think I'm just going to get an herbalist. Oh, sorry, an uh, uh, arvinger. <coughs> and really hope I can hit five. Maybe I should get that silver. I'll get the coin here. Okay, hit five. <coughs> he gets the goons. I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so I'm going to top deck something I don't want because I'm going to discard from this navigator. So let's top deck a state. And I'm going to discard all and buy the trading post. And oof. <laughs> Still draw it all. Well, that doesn't hurt, thankfully. Two coins. Reasonable. I'll get another coin. Second goons already. Wow. No village. Um, I guess I'll top deck a coin. <coughs> and I'm just trashing these coppers. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, is it time for a city quarter? Another harbinger. Ah, sigh. Really need to hit six. I guess I'll buy a coin. If I don't get goons here, which is not that on yeah, that's pretty likely. Okay, uh Yeah, I'm not gonna get a good trash in, so double goons. Wow, okay, well I'm not getting goons next turn, I think. This should be hunting grounds. My opponent. You just go heavy on the coins. Interesting. Um. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Let's top deck. Trading post. Uh, done ordering. And now we'll get. We'll get another coin, I guess. 
Okay, I got two two goons for returns. Let's hope I can actually uh, trashing estates would be so good for. <coughs> Um, the harbingers aren't really doing much for me. I guess okay. Okay, so this is finally I get the hunting grounds. Well, now that I have the hunting grounds, I can get the city quarter. I'll take the top deck goons and maybe play it. Still get the hunting grounds. One point on the map. <laughs> Still, it's quite a deficit. <clears throat> ah, alas. Okay, this will be a city quarter, I think. Second hunting grounds for my opponent. <coughs> Alas, like all these harbingers are useless because I will shuffle. I'd love to have the Harbinger with one card in deck, and then I can top deck my hunting grounds. Or my, or my city quarter here. I really need goons myself. Four on the map from each of us. City quarter for my opponent. And I just have silvers. Uh, that's lovely. Um, that means that's the city quarter. <coughs> so I have three. Or really eight. But, um... I'll keep the hunting grounds. Do I want to trash silvers? Hmm, do I want another <laughs> city quarter? What do I want? I'll just take a harbinger. Okay, my opponent is definitely building much better than me. Has more of like everything. I don't know. I don't know how I come back from this. Yeah, that's even awful. City quarter with no actions. But I can finally get a goons or just another hunting, hunting, hunting grounds. I, I need the goons. Okay, so at least I can top deck city quarter or hunting grounds. <sighs> Don't draw your guns. Please don't draw your guns. <coughs> oh, you're drawing like all your cards, so. Yep. Discard and Harbinger and have you here.
That's a lot of coins called for a single turn. <coughs> that's also a ton of money. So I don't know what it is. Just, I didn't spike six early enough. The Harbinger open was the mistake. Maybe the Harbinger open was the mistake. Yeah, that's probably the case. Mm -mm. Um... Alright, I get my goons played. And I have 11, which is not a great number. Um, I'll do goons city quarter, 5 debt. Two honey grounds. What is this? Yeah, it's what, five to one cunning grounds or something? I very much lost this. Draw three cards, draw four cards. <coughs> I don't know what there is to think about here. You just play your goons. Navigator, I guess. Yeah, I should have been Navigator Silver. Spiking for Goons is too important. I kept thinking I was going to... Yeah, and I didn't get Trading Post. Until turn four, but Navigator causes shuffles. I'm bad with that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't need to explain. Um, let's switch up the player order. I go first. I'm down to one. Oh boy. Okay. Um, So, Count is great. Hermit is pretty good here. Gaining Wishing Wells. Uh, Madman to spike for, I don't know, Swamp Pack or something? No. Okay, so you want to get to Leprechaun, you want to get Wishes. You want to get City Quarter draw. Uh, hunting Party also is nice draw. Um, but I'm, I'm opening Hermit, that's for sure. Hermit. Wishing well? Probably. Yeah, so there's good draw. The payload, I mean, the only plus act plus stuff is Hermit and Leprechaun and Count. And then you can expand stuff. So expand will be nice here. Um, 
Yeah, I think we'll just try to get up to the leprechaun thing. I can see double permit. No, I don't, yeah. Hmm. Let's do wishing well. It's pretty good. Really. And we want to get to enough of those actions that the said quarter and the leprechaun can all be happy. <laughs> I guess bandit camp gains. Um, I think we're going to want to get like golds and expand them. So. Okay, so that's a hermit and an estate. Oh, only two. Wow, that's all the estates. They'll have a five next turn. Um, yeah, interesting. I mean, Hermit can gain a lot of things. Buys an estate. I don't understand that. Just because they don't want a madman? Uh, okay, well. Um... Then you should you should just gain the madman. You don't want I Emmy mean, wishing well plus a state versus madman. Okay, this uh, double wishing well for me. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so tracking deck I have uh, five coppers, three wishing wells, and an estate in there. Draw copper. Um, well, I think I'm pretty happy with this turn. Yeah, let's just get a lot of wishing wells. Um, next turn I'll go for the... Okay, I've got uh, two more wishing wells in there. I'll go for the city quarter, I think. Okay, wishing wells are gone, so I think it's pretty clear. Alright, we've got wishing wells in there, we've got still a lot of coppers. Um, reveals wishing well. Okay, we've got two more coppers in there. And a wishing well. So we draw through. Um, hermit, trash, estate, pick up the leprechaun. And let's go for the city quarter. Alright, I hope I don't draw city quarter here. But anyway, start wishing for wishing well. How many wishing wells do I have in all? I think six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also gets a leprechaun. Alright, I have just all the <laughs> coppers in the world. Um, so I guess wishing well is pretty likely. Draw the Hermit. Interesting. Um, wishing Well is still the most likely. Another Copper, so Wishing Well. <laughs> it's, it's Copper again? Okay. So, Hermit. I want to get to the expand. Maybe I should have got expand instead of city quarter. But I think I'll be happy with this as is. Um, let's just gain. Do I even want to play the hermit? I don't think I. I mean, I think I want to buy a swamp egg. Or I could do the count. Yeah, expand is not as attractive here. Yeah, let's just get the count. Okay, that's my city quarter on top. So that's going to be some nice draw. I'll need to count 
actions for the leprechaun. My opponent still has an estate. Well, they bought that extra estate, but. Now they get their city core. Okay, coppers are the most likely. Um, okay, so wishing well is. I mean, whatever, let's just. Okay, one, two, three. <coughs> one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, well, there's two coppers, there's a count and a hermit. One, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, two, three, five, six, leprechaun, and that's the count, and the count can top deck the hermit and trash, hermit and trash, and then I'll pick up another city quarter. Alright, this seems like it's going quite well for me. I think, like, those are all actions now. I have, I have five more Wishing Wells, I have a Leprechaun, and I have another City Quarter, and a Wish. So actually, yes, I should play Wishing Well first. Some more gain in play. I think I'm going to uh, Wish for Swamp Hags, just to shut my opponent down. Yeah, that count trash was real nice. And then also, it expands soon. Okay, so he has, that's the sixth one. <coughs> yeah, so. I should have no trouble recouping the coins using the leprechaun. So. Yeah, this is going well. Wish for wishing well. Reels up. Okay. Um, wish for wishing well. One, two, three. And that is yet another wishing well. One, two, three, four. Um, <coughs> let's just discard, uh, take the <coughs> coins, and I could do like a, I'll just play the city quarter, and now Leprechaun. And now, draw that up, get down a swamp tag, um, and sure, let's do a bandit camp, I guess. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so we tied up 2 2. Oh, yeah, and that definitely means we'll have a six match. So, um, Okay, so our Mew is our Mew, our Mew is starting. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, distant lands are a nice courtier targets. Bonfire tomb, a lot of trashing opportunity. Necromancer is another trasher. 
Um, Cursed Village can inadvertently trash things. Let's see. Uh, grand Markets. We want, you know, the usual thing is just to pile tons of Grand, grand Markets. Um, so, yeah, if we get Court here, um, it's a nice payload. Oh, I have two five. Changes things a little bit. Can't open with the bonfire two. I was thinking bonfire necromancer. <coughs> yeah, so crazy action density not completely necessary. Um, but I think. I think I'll be opening Cursed Village. <coughs> Patrician. Or I could do the Court here. Or I could do the Necromancer. I don't know. Definitely prefer 3-4 here. That's what I would have done on 3-4. So my opponent's playing well. Let's see what I got. Misery. Okay, well, it doesn't affect things immediately. So now that I have a cursed village, I can think about the court here. Well, okay, I really want to just think about bonfiring. Bonfiring and getting the necromancer. I guess embassy. Ooh, so my opponent is getting a little bit low on coins. Um, yeah, let's bonfire. And here I'll get my necromancer. Ouch, not hitting a state. Because you love to turn a state to silver. Um... All right, uh, let's do Cursed Village. Of course, I have the Necromancer on top. Um, so let's bonfire. <coughs> he's going to finally hit an estate here. No, he revealed copper. No, he's not going to. Okay, so uh, my opponent is... Like a lot of coppers <laughs> has to re regain it, yeah. Maybe buys a less patrician, but still, you're not going to be able to afford it for you. Neither am I, but you know. <coughs> Cursed village. Okay, so that's either. I guess I just got a zombie spy. And I'll just get silver here. Aha! You revealed an estate. Now you zombie mason. No, you draw on. Risky. <coughs> Uh, well, I'll have to think about see what happens when I draw. Hmm. It's really that's really strange. Copper, copper. I would have stopped after the previous one. Reels copper. 
Um, uh, yeah, sure, I will buy a silver. I really don't want to get an embassy now, because that's giving him... <laughs> coins. Okay, now you kill it. No, why? Why are you still playing? That's... Just don't play that last patrician. It doesn't do you any good to draw the estate. I draw all my estates. Well, hmm. Um, but I will get the uh, either Treasury, Courtier, em Emporium, maybe. Let's just get the Courtier. Yeah, the trashing estates is annoying. Okay, he's even getting rid of his patrician. I don't understand. But yeah, definitely not buying embassy, even though it would, would help my necromancer lineup. Come on, reveal estate. Oh, cursed village. Well, okay. Um, I'm just gonna zombie mason, even if I hit. That's okay. Um... I'd love to have hit either of those estates. Uh, maybe I will get the embassy. Yeah, let's get the embassy now, even though it does happen. Man! Oh yeah, the um, we cannot play Patricia. Yeah. Necromancer. <coughs> okay, now I can finally line this up. Trash those estates. Not enough for the important points. First village, embassy. <coughs> and unfortunately, I have to top back two of them to do this, but zombie mason. I guess I could have done something else, but zombie mason. Uh, sure, take a pearl diver, I guess. And now let's get Grand Market. Hmm. 
I need another cursed village, both for courtier reveal and for villages. All right, well, let's just find the coppers, and oh, we could even get another grand market. Yeah, let's do, let's do the bonfiring on plus buy. Treasury. Okay, I might have a true deck. Um, we'll have the Pearl Diver first. Yeah, let's top deck Grand Market. Grand Market. Um, I guess I can like Zombie Spy. Let's Patrician actually. Okay, I find the Curse Village. Nice. Curse Village. Embassy. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, four, seven, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, let's do sixteen. Bonfire the coppers, and then two more grand markets. Let's mm -hmm. do a cursed village and a grand market. Yeah, and I want that distant land soon. Silvers. Uh, coins gold, maybe? Let's just do action. Action coins. Let's do action coins. First village, embassy, pearl diver, looks in a state, uh, S top deck it, necromancer zombie mason it, into a pearl diver, grand market. Sixteen. Um, definitely grand market. I could do double emporium, get some points out of that. Let's more important points or more money. Um, let's see. Do the distant lands for the court here. And sure, we'll grab an appointment.
So they still have all three of their states. Grand markets are three to four for me. I also have two Christian villages, a courtier, and a sea. Let's leave that on the bottom. Mm. Okay, I have some control if we don't draw the estate. Um Okay, so if I play the Cursed Village, I, I'm not drawing a card. That's what I want to do, because I want to Zombie Mason, the estate, to draw another Pearl Diver. Um, at everything but the gold, right? Action by coins. Patrician, real Pearl Diver, I'm okay with that. Um, do I want to play this Distant Lands? Um, well, let's just keep it around for more, more fun. Okay, I will think I'll just drain the Grand Market section. Yeah, 7-3 should be pretty convincing there. I could possibly drain Emporia and Pearl Diver the win. Even do some final turn bonfiring. Well, double Emporium is <coughs> certainly attractive for my opponent, although that does lower piles, such that I just need Emporium by Pearl Diver's province. Win. Assuming I draw and all that. You would probably just need <coughs> a state, because I can play the distant land. So, yeah, what's my opponent do here? First village, distant lands. Okay. Alright. Decent chance say well, not crazy chance I can win. Let's just play these cards. Cursed Village, and Market Emporium, and Market Patrician, um, Embassy. Um, if I get a pearl level, what do I have? Thirteen. That's two more, five more. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-three. Yeah, that could be enough. Um. Okay, uh, I don't need buys, right? So, action coins, gold, pearl diver, okay, 26, this is 15, yeah, this is enough. And for fun, I'll just bonfire, oops. <laughs> All right. So I win game five, and I take a three to two lead, 
and we need to give my opponent, no, give me the, the start of the last game. Okay. Uh, this has been closer than I wished, but I just need to win this black market game. Um, oh boy, okay, so... We've got tower and city, two things that care about empty piles. Um, inn and tunnel. That does something. Harvest and tunnel. Forsters and tunnel. Lots of discarding options. Um... Black market, of course, and no trashing, so I'll have to find trashing in the black market, I think. Oh, I have 5-2, um, which I'm not too excited about, but I guess I can get an in. And then make the 2 less bad. But, meh, I don't really want an in. I mean, I guess it's okay. I can get a harvest. Woohoo. That'll be great. Uh, I can get a royal seal. That's not crazy. Uh, I could get a treasury. Also not too crazy. But I think I'll get the end. Shuffle it in. Okay, I draw it. One and five and six, and then... So I will be able to get to two coppers. And get the black market. It'll have either four or five, depending on if I draw a state. Oh, my opponent has two five, which is worse, for sure. Okay, so now I think I will get the either royal seal or treasury. Like treasure is nice because it's gonna be a while before I draw before I buy green. I might buy a tunnel. If I want gold that way. Yeah, I definitely prefer five two to two five. Because of him. Oh, and Horde of Plenty is gonna be very easy to activate to get to five. So we just need to find draw. Which could be cities eventually. It's just gonna take forever. And I think I'd rather go find some stuff in the black market. So we've got villages, we need draw, and we need trashing in the black market. Yeah. I might get the royal carriage. Royal carriage on black market can help us search a little faster. The Royal Seal lets us top deck. Treasury just gets us more. I don't know. Okay, yeah, the in now does not do really anything, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Treff, which royal thing do I want? I'll get the royal carriage. Okay, so I will get to draw my black market now. <coughs> Clean shuffle after this. So my opponent's doing the same sort of thing a turn late. Okay, come on, trashers. Nope, those are not trashers. I can do single beggar to drain the copper pile. Or tower points. No thanks. Um, I think I'll just expedition. Yeah, I really want to get to that black market. Ideally, the royal carriage. Rabble's nice. Rabble's real nice. Don't know if my opponent can afford it. Quarry is also going to be good for future black market <coughs> trips, but really, trashing is our highest priority, so glad that there's no trasher there. But I would take the rabble for sure. Okay, interesting. Ooh, 
ambassador or knight? Uh, <laughs> I think ambassador is the clear choice. Um, the knight is tempting, of course. And then I'll just keep expeditioning to find things. I'll get to Royal Carriage's Black Market, or I'll just do it on the Ambassador. Hang on, what do I find? Um. Yeah, none of those are really draw. The Swindler is intriguing. Um, ooh, Ghost Ship is brutal. So we'll do that, especially with Expedition. Oh, my ambassador gets flipped. Oh well. Might draw to my Ghost Ship. I don't, but I do draw Arrow Carriage Black Market. Um, yeah, neither, none of those are really what I want. A counterfeit would be nice. My ambassador gets flipped again. Any more draw? Ooh, mount a bank. Okay, that could change things. Master is nice defense, but yeah, I have like two of the brutalist attacks. But he's got another one there. No, he takes the altar. Yeah, he needs trashing. That's that is fair. I'll draw one copper. Okay, I drew a copper. I can expedition. Yeah, this ambassador and ghost ship should be pretty brutal. If I ever draw the ambassador. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Of course it would have been amazing if it didn't have to top deck. Double ultra trash, it's pretty awesome. <coughs> yeah, I guess the amount of bank was not really worth it against the ambassador. Assuming I draw. Which, let's hope we can find some good draw cards in here. Don't want to be calling royal characters on the ghost ship. It's too single card dependent. I don't really think Oracle is that great. Um, I could get a chariot race, I guess. I don't really know that it does much to me, though. Let's not buy. Let's call the royal carriage. Let's not buy either of those. Let's get an expedition and a royal carriage. Okay, I've got two estates to pass back with the ambassador. I'll discard the coppers, obviously. But I especially want to get rid of those estates because of his rebel. Unfortunately, this is going to be quite a long game. I predict, at least. Scheme is nice. Well, only one scheme is not that nice. So you get, you know, the card you really want to start your turns with. Yeah, no, that was really inspiring. 
Who's helping the expeditions? Oh yeah, steward. There you go, you got your steward. All right, come on. Oh, see, heck. Well, that's an interesting choice. You can really carriage it. But yes, I'm happy you expeditioned because I'm about to push it, yeah. Ooh, royal carriaging this master. Seems attractive. And then I'll also count for the copper and just get an expedition. Yeah, my goal is to get around to my... Yeah, the, the ghost ship is going to be brutal for expedition. And so, yes, I will... Return those. Call row carriage. Return one of those. Kind of for the other one by an expedition. I will ambassador the estate, I think. tunnel yet? Maybe let's get the tunnel. Sweet. I'll get to discard it. I will call the royal carriage on the ghost ship. That's my black market on the bottom. But I'm not gonna have any actions to play it. Um, so let's say master. Um, do I want a second tunnel? Not really. I do want to get my in. I guess I'll get a second tunnel. I can start counterfeiting golds. Unfortunately, I don't think the ambassador should have thought about that. No discard attacks. That's nice. I guess, yeah, I just won't play the Ambassador this turn. I'll play the Ghost Ship in Black Market. That's my terminals. Now 
Next, I think I'll go in around the cities and whatever I can find out of the black market that draws. That's great. Interesting. So I'll have to be aware of that and able to cope. I can always pass things in the supply. Carriage in, discard two tunnels, get two golds. Go ship. I've got the two tunnels on top, I don't really want the two tunnels on top. So I'll call a royal carriage. And that's it. Um, black market. Single port, not impressive. Relic, more brutality. Um, yeah, Relic in like two more cities, two cities or something. Uh, or a call, or a carriage. Huh, Enchantress is next. Uh, let's get City Expedition. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I win game six and I advance four to two over Remu. So well played. Um, and let's let spectators say what they want to say. Um, so, I will advance to the next round. I don't know who my opponent will be yet, but it will be good. And I am in the top, uh, was it 64 now? So, yeah, lots to, lots still to come. Thanks for watching, and tune in later for more Noctune previews this week. See you later.